Hey y'all, it's Alicia. Welcome back to my channel. And I know I was supposed to go to sleep, but you know, I was catching up on videos. You know, I'm actually also making lists because I'm taking some last minute notes on people who are, have been sending Happy Meal and Rack to folks. Because lots of you have been granting wishes all over the place and I got to enter you in the die cutter draw tomorrow. So I noticed, for instance, that Rosita got a couple of packages, some lovely packages from Crafty Beginnings, for instance. She, she sent her something and we have Maria's Miscellany as well who sent her something. So there's also, we have Crafty Beginnings, we have uh, Crafty Michelle also sent a package. So, you know, there's all sorts of people I've been adding for the draw tomorrow, folks. Well, don't you think I'm watching Miss Corn? And she does, for those of you that watch Miss Corn, then you know that she did an announcement today for VI Crafter KB. And if you haven't seen this video yet, it's had 111 views since yesterday. But here's what's going on, folks. She's doing a challenge. Now, I don't subscribe to VI Crafter KB. I know you do, Miss Sharing Moore. I saw, because I saw you sent her some happy mail. Folks, this is a really important cause, so I have to come back on here. I know I'm pooped, but you know me. If there's something important that's got to get out there, I'm going to get it out there. This lovely lady has a daughter who is doing her master's degree in social work, and she's doing her placement for her master's degree with the Seton Youth Shelter. i got to tell you something about this shelter. The youth in this shelter can admit themselves there because of problems going on at home. It's both male and female, and it's usually people that need to leave home because of issues related to abuse of some kind. We know that, right? Or there might be some other um, issues interwoven with that abuse. So what this lovely lady, B.I. Crafter KB, is doing is she's doing a challenge where she's asking the crafting community to make either an altered composition book, right, or an altered journal and send it in so that her daughter can make sure that each of these young women and men will get one. Now, how awesome is that? And she's doing a giveaway for it. I think this is amazing. And when we think about kids who choose to leave home because it's no longer safe, be it emotionally or physically, and all she's asking for is all of us crafty folks to alter a journal or a composition of some kind and send it into her so that these kids can have a book to write down their emotional... You know, journaling is like what we do. You know how we craft and we feel better? Well, writers, when you're writing things out, one of the reasons why writing is used in art therapy is because when you start journaling, it helps you work through emotional challenges and things that have happened to you in your life. And I teach a class at college about like writing your life. And part of it is about working through some of the things that maybe you don't want to talk to anyone about or you just don't feel comfortable sharing. So this is essentially what they're asking for is a place for these kids to put these things down in. So either an altered journal or an altered composition book. And as a writer, how can I not get behind this, right? Because I know it works, folks. So I'm going to put VI Crafter KB's challenge info below. And basically, you have until, I think, the end of August to alter up a journal or alter up a, a composition book. And folks, she's letting you enter as many times as you want, which is pretty. You can do five, you can do four, you can do two, you can do one. But I think this is something worth getting behind. If we can help these young people, why wouldn't we? And we all know how to alter up a journal or a composition book. For sure we do. So folks, tired as I was, I had to come on here and do that shout out. VI Crafter KB, and I'll put the link down below. Now I'm really going back to bed. All right, folks, take care. See you tomorrow. Bye for now.